Hey, Jeff Zucker, are you there? Yes. This is James O'Keefe. Um, we've been listening to your CNN calls for basically two months. So everybody in line with that, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll set up a, a, a new system. Come with me for a minute. We were on the phone with the Babylon B people and we were recording their conference calls. Come on in. I'm just trying to understand like what's going on in your heads when you guys are doing this stuff. Like, I, it feels like at times we've forgotten that we are not really doing satire, and that you guys think you're real comedians. Like, is that what is that what you're <laughs> like in your head at this point? No, not, not at all. Like, I get that we're not actually funny. We're not actually comedians. It's just hard. Look, let's be clear. Are you saying that we need to? like be less funny or like lean harder into the believable stuff so we can fool more people? Yes, that's exactly, exactly what I'm saying. I mean, uh, I, I'm going to read you like a couple of these headlines and you tell me what you think. Bible experts determine Goliath died of COVID-19. Uh, several states right. issue orders requiring people to run around in giant hamster balls. Protesters pull down Joe Biden after mistaking him for old racist statue. Kyle, these are yeah. obviously jokes. They're not believable. And I don't know how many times, like, I have to repeat myself and say this over and over hey again. Seth, hey, Seth, I Dylan, are you broken. there? Yeah. yeah uh, who's this? Hey, this is James O'Keefe. Um, we've been listening to your 9 a.m. Babylon B uh, conference calls for basically two months, um, recording everything. And I, I just wanted to ask you some questions, if you have a minute. Do you still consider your website to be satirical? Because I have to say, from what I've been hearing on these phone calls... Plus, reading what the New York Times has been writing about you, I don't know about that. We've got a lot of recordings and, and frankly, New York Times articles that indicate that you're not really that satirical of a website. You're more like a right-leaning site trafficking in misinformation under the guise of satire. All right, okay. Um, so, thank you for your comment. Um, everybody, listen, I think we need to, uh, we're going to need to get set up on a, on a different system here and, and maybe come back to this uh, and do the rest of the call a little bit later, uh, if that's okay. Uh, uh, Seth, we're going to be releasing these recordings today, later today at 7 o'clock, so you stay tuned. It's going to be great. Thanks, everyone. Um, you have a good day. Yeah, you, you too, Seth. You're going you're to have a great day after this is released. Okay, bye-bye. So you just heard that was CEO of Babylon B, Seth Dillon, on a conference call with his staff, one Kyle. Uh, a very contentious uh, dialogue there about uh, what appeared to be them trying to be a satirical news site. Again, the New York Times reporting that they are a right-leaning site, traffic in mis misinformation under the guise of satire. And, and of course, New York Times is a credible yeah, source. Yeah, guys, this line has been compromised. He's we're um, we're going to change the dialing. It, Seth, you still there? To do no, that. Appa apparently, still okay. on the call. You're still listening to the Babylon Bee staff. They they're still listening to me. They're we're actually live streaming this right now, and he's still on the phone call. So, there you have it, folks. Seth Dillon, CEO of the Babylon Bee, uh, according to the New York Times, trafficking in misinformation of the guise of satire. You heard it first, folks. On the line, Seth Dillon and uh, Kyle. I don't know what Kyle's last name is, but I guess one of the executives there at Babylon B. Uh, Project Veritas, be brave, do something. Thank you all.